Let's see, let's see. One across, nine letters, the name of Don Quixote's horse. Come on now, you know this. No idea. I've never heard of it. Um, is it Trigger? Oh, that's good. T-R-I-G, that doesn't fit. <laughs> you think you're so clever. <laughs> Quit joking around. I'm trying to finish my crossword. Okay, here's a new one. Vertical, six letters, popular, breakfast. I like cheese. Mm. Yogurt's my favorite. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, both of them would fit. <laughs> Yogurt's obviously mm. more popular than cheese. Not to me. Cheese is a gift from the gods. Yes, but yogurt is not only delicious, but healthy as well. That's great, but I'm healthy enough, thanks. I'm telling you, yogurt is the best. The best for you, maybe. But I like my cheese, and I'd like to get back to eating it. Now, don't start arguing. Why don't we move on to the next word? Four letters, Earth's satellite. Uh, I'll bet you kids don't know this one, huh? Yogurt! No, cheese! Well, what do you think of that? <laughs> it's the moon! <laughs> Give me that! Why? Give that back! Right now! If you don't, I'll make you regret it! So what? I must speak my truth. Give it back right now! Eh, uh, go eat your yogurt! You get back here! Make me! C-H-E-E-S-E! C-H-E-E-S-E! Yay! Anytime! Uh, you know, Rosa, it's mighty tasty. Yeah, yeah, yummy! Dankeschön! Right? Isn't it delicious? And if you come with me, there'll be more where that came from. Well, he can be stubborn sometimes. Like, really stubborn. But he might listen to a majority opinion. And a majority opinion is stronger than one. Yeah, got any more cheese on ya? Afternoon, Rosa. Had any good yogurt lately? Oh, as a matter of fact, I have. And it was mouthwatering. Mouthwatering, was it? That's it. That is it. Guess what? I got in touch with the editor of today's crossword. He told me the answer to that popular um, breakfast question. You won't believe what he told me. Um, it's apples. Yeah, apples. Which means you're both wrong. <laughs> Never did find out about Don Quixote's horse. Who cares about a crossword? Yeah, it's not about a puzzle. This is a matter of honor. Let's be civilized um, about this. Um, we'll decide it democratically by vote. Let the campaigning begin. Rest assured, my candidate will be promoting good health for everyone. My friends, if you want a delicious candidate, then vote for cheese. My candidate may be fruity, skinny, or Greek. He speaks for all. Life will surely be a breeze if you live it with a side of cheese. Let's see you do that. I mean, does anything even rhyme with yogurt? If you're down, eat yogurt's some yogurt. Yogurt's got some good points. So, so does cheese. <laughs> I remain undecided. Is this thing on? <clears throat> you got your cheeseburgers, your cheese and crackers, your mac and cheese. Can't do that with yogurt. You ever had a yogurt sandwich? Yogurt is simple. It aids digestion. It is healthy. It is creamy. Liar. You're an elitist. I don't know what that is. Then put down that nasty cheese and write a book. Oh, well. So much for doing this in a civilized manner. What's going on here? Such a racket. I'll bet Olga likes yogurt. Ha! We'll see about that, won't we? The best breakfast is yogurt. It's cheese. Yogurt! It's cheese! <gasps> Stop that! This is the most senseless argument I've ever witnessed. Have you nothing better to do? Cheese and yogurt are both made from milk. They have many similarities. They're both popular, delicious, and healthy. You know, um. it's better than I thought. Yummy! Mm. Try this. It is mouth-watering. Oh. Mm. Like a thousand mm. blueberries exploding. Mm. 
It's like a whole new world. One sweet and the other savory. And both super yummy. You can say that again. Hey, Rosa? <laughs> Silly, wasn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> you got that right. Why argue such a thing? It's like choosing cookies or ice cream. They're both scrumptious. Sure thing. <laughs> Though I'd choose ice cream. Hmm? Oh, boy. Ice cream. Are you crazy? Hmm. Fury! I uh, guess not. Doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's ice cream, hands down! No way! It's cookies every time! I'd like to see you prove it! But I will! <laughs> we'll see about that, Cookie Puss! Rosinante! It was right on the tip of my tongue. Rosinante. <sighs> uh -huh. oh. <sighs> it's all your fault. Let's go for a nice walk. How about a walk? Look what happened. Where are we now? Nobody knows. I wanted to walk near home. It's your fault. I've already walked there and over there, too. Boring. Thanks to you, we're in the middle of nowhere now. Does nowhere even have a middle? Oh, I'm going to die of hunger. Oh, great. Hmm? I told you not to touch anything, Wally. I'm not touching anything. Is there anybody here? We are lost. Don't touch it. It's probably past its expiration date. But I'm hungry. <sighs> oh, boy. I could really go for a big piece of chocolate cake right about now. And a nice hot cup of tea. <gasps> oh. Huh? Huh? you. Maybe you could also send us home? Uh-huh. Yeah. Go home. Why am I itching so much? No. <gasps> Wally, we are home! He did it! <laughs> There's my son. <laughs> Here's my grass. Oh, wow. Actually, How I think nice. you're the one that did it, Wally. It's when you scratched your head and said, go home. <laughs> Ah, uh, coffee. Ah. With sugar. <sighs> Extra sugar. Rainbow. Eight of them. Some bird singing Mozart, if you please. It's classical music, my dear. Huh. Well, aren't there newer ones? Just scratch somewhere else. But why? I finally have the power to make this world a much better place. And prettier. Uh, 
more fair and kinder. Ha! Huh. Prettier, more fair, kinder. Looks like this. Ah, uh, no. Snowy white's not charcoal black. Charcoal black's not snowy white. Turning right's not turning left, and turning left's not turning right. Something round's not something snorts. Something snorts not something short. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. Something dark's not something light. Something rude's not something nice. And if a dish is burning hot, it means that it's not made of ice. When a man is bald up there, he doesn't have long golden hair. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. Cut us like a knife to bits. All these crazy opposites, but you cannot hide or flee. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. A thousand safety measures will not cut the probability. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal Let's return things to the way they used to be and never change anything again. But let's agree that never means never. And if we want to change something, we first have to ask each other for permission. Agreed. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to, to the, the way, way it was. was. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to the way, way it was. was. Everything goes, goes back, back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Maybe our itch just doesn't itch anymore. All scratched out. I could go for an apple. It sure is a challenge for the team to play their best on such a swampy field, but there's still time for a comeback, and the ref may add a few minutes so our guys could still score some goals. Yes, our boys have intercepted the ball midfield. It's a beautiful chance to score. There's an opening. Uh -huh. our two oh, are go, go. Go, 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 go! Just what the honey is going on here? Just what is going on here? Our team needs to act fast to come out ahead. Our defenders have the ball again. Pass to Vasilyev. This is the last attack. There isn't time to roll the ball around like this. Pass to the penalty area. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, break through the flank, break through the flank. Do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Who taught you goobers how to play soccer? Just get your act together! If you really expect to win, you have to want it bad enough! Oh, they want to win, but they'll never pull it off. Their tactics are fundamentally flawed. Huh? Tactics, smack dicks. Wanting is more important. <laughs> My Ursine friend, it is clear that you do not understand this in the slightest. Great planning and tactics determine every outcome. It isn't me who doesn't understand it. It's a battle of wills. It all comes down to who most wants it. The winner's whoever's got the stronger mindset. No, it's whoever has superior tactics. Mindset. Tactics. Wanna bet? You're on. How will we prove that I'm the one who's right? We'll organize an experimental soccer match. Whoever wins the match wins the bet. We'll play according to the tactics I call the Bermuda Triangle. It's quite a simple concept. When confronting the opponent, we give them the entire field. And just like that, they're lost in it and disappear like in the Bermuda Triangle. See? And we score a goal. Is that clear? We'll just take it again, once more from the top. <laughs> they got stupid formulas and tactics and plans and all that dumb junk. But born winners got their head in the game. They go out there and refuse to accept anything but total and complete mm. victory. Any other outcome is completely unthinkable. <laughs> Time to get tuned in. Get the fire in your eyes. Get that thirst for victory. <laughs> Show me more. Show me everything.
mindset. Trigonometry and line up on the diagonal. Diagonal. <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> diagonal. <laughs> Well done. When the other team sees a unified opponent with the right mindset coming at them, they're so flustered they score on themselves. But don't relax, there's still the second half. Mm in your belly and victory at any cost. Get out there and show them what's possible with the proper mindset. Let's try something new. We'll switch to a tactic that I call the canal. We'll dampen our opponent's attack waves around the entire field perimeter. Then we can block and flood all of the locks and wash the other team away. The fire! The thirst! Mindset! <laughs> Remember the tactics and pass the ball to Chico. <laughs> Come on, use the tactics. I worked hard on them. Come on, just pass the ball to Chico. <laughs> It's all about tactics. Like I said, pass the ball to Chico. Tactics!
ref, why are you picking on my team? Are you really gonna give him a penalty shot? You really should have gone with a more qualified and less blind referee. Never have a fair match with her on the field. <laughs> we can't win without the right mindset. If you can't find the fire, and if you don't find the thirst, there's just no way we can win. <laughs> Not a single one of you wants it enough. Oh, you bunch of pacifists. <laughs> There's a sale on Big Bud. Huh? Hmm? Uh, 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 we've got a substitute. We're gonna put into play. Well then, so do we. Kick and kick. Uh, all right, all right, and like that. Hmm. Seems to be a window over there, so I'll be kicking the ball now. Coming through. Uh, 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 that doesn't seem fair at all. Charge, everybody! Run over them! Victory's within reach! Reach out and snatch it! Uh, ah, uh, this is how it's done! I fire belly first! Mindset! Mindset! Feet of flame! Loin skirted! Heart pounding! A little on-the-field analysis, and the perfect strategy becomes clear. This is real oh. soccer, baby! Hmm, a Come on, kids, make me better. proud! Get oh, those feet in gear! Run really that field! Yeah. Come on, run it! Uh, you can do it, you little, you little, you little, you little! This is serious league of champions room. play here! Come on. That's exactly the way to play soccer! Yes, exactly that! Perfect plan! Oh, oh, oh. So, now do you understand the right way to play? With the right mindset, you can move mountains. Oh, with thirsty eyes and your tummy on fire. And do you understand that carefully chosen tactics can make or break a match? Oh. Hey, um, players come back. The match isn't over. There's three minutes left. We already got what we were after. We're done. Let's just call it a tie. Come on, come on, pass it here. <laughs> wait, 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 where are you going? Yeah, here, get here. him. Okay, I got oh, it. Good I got it. Huh? Ooh, come on over here. I got it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, pass, pass oh, oh, yeah. Me, 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 me. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 careful, this? careful. I'm awesome. <laughs> you got it. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Chico, can you get the puck for me, please? Who? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, do you want to play hmm. with us? You can take my place for a couple of games. I fell down today and I'm a little sore. <laughs> all right, all right, break it up, break it up. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. If you're really in so much pain, why are you playing this game where you're pushing each other and falling down? <laughs> Chico, this is hockey. There's only one puck and the ice is slippery, so everyone falls. I think hockey is played on ice on purpose, so it's easier to make each other fall down. I think that all of you should quit playing this cruel game and come over here and help me make a snowman. It'd be a much more productive use of your time, you know. Uh, where is that puck? I got it. It's right here. Woo! Game on! Oh, 
<sighs> my fearless friend, please be so kind as to forgive my play. I'm afraid that I was, uh, how should I say this, excessively rough. Oh, come on now, old friend. I'm afraid it was all my fault. Sometimes I'm rather featherbrained. You were the one who played by the rules. Still, uh, I managed to crash into you with such force. It was normal. Don't worry. The whole thing was normal. It is hockey after all! Yeah! <clears throat> but the way I slammed Crash into the boards, that was not pretty to look at. It's okay, it's okay. It's a sport. That's how it goes. No! I don't like sports where players actually beat each other up. At first, everyone's only fighting while they're playing hockey, but before long, it gets a lot worse. They're beating each other up over everything. No way! That's crazy! Ow. Yeah, sometimes we get a little rough when we fight each other during the game. But, uh, once the game is completely over, everyone forgets it. And we're all friends again. Come on, get over this, Andrew. Let's go. Fastas is fantastic. Feel better soon. <laughs> Chico, is it possible for you to do something for me? Anything you want. With all these bandages on, it might be tough for me to play. I'd probably only score a couple goals, but you know how much these guys miss hockey. Could you take my place in the game for a little bit? Me? It's okay, it's okay. Don't get upset. <laughs> That's what's great about hockey. It's not embarrassing to fall when you play. Um, but when you fall, <laughs> make sure you drag as many opponents down with you when you go. Chico, you needn't worry. We promise not to be too difficult on you today, all right? <laughs> Chico, Chico! What? Chico, come on! Check him! Chico, the boards! Pick up! The game has started! You're invading my space! My high-spirited friend, this isn't the ballet. No one is going to go easy on you just because you're a novice. You gotta up your game. This is hockey! You can't act like such a baby! Maybe I'll just play goalie. Are you loony? The goalie is the most important player! All right, guys, let's get back out there. Ch 
Chico, you're a very kind person because you're very modest. You're always ready to give way to someone else. But here you'll be fighting not for yourself, but for your team. Do you understand? You're part of a team. And because of the team, you can't be modest. Your team's feelings are hurt now. Your team is crying, oh no, why is Chico letting others hurt me? Why is he not protecting me? Aren't we playing today? No, not today, not tomorrow, and not the day after tomorrow. It's spring, Chico. Hmm. Hmm. So, when are we going to play? When spring, summer, and fall finally end. Then we can play next winter when it gets cold enough for that nice ice to form. Okay, but what happens to our team? We wait until next season. Let's get together and practice. We don't need the ice to practice. Maybe the other team will come over too, and we'll play with them. We'll create a summer version of hockey. We can do it on the rollerblades, or we can just run and use a little ball instead of a puck. What do you say? Mm -mm. I have to plant potatoes now, and all summer long I have to work in my vegetable garden. And in the fall is the harvest. I'll be busy till next winter. We'll play then. What about the game? What about Team Spirit? I was thinking about the way we play. We have to change our game plan. Take, for instance, the offensive line. Our opponents. Let's go show them what we're made of. <laughs> 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 
And most importantly, we're a team. <laughs> oh, Chico, maybe you should be the one to play. You can take my place. Hmm. No, you play. For now, I'm more useful to the team when I'm out here. I don't understand. Is Chico their coach now, or what? Let's play hard. Don't let them get away with anything. This is hockey, not ballroom dancing. weird thing. How phenomenal! Such a glorious find. I'm absolutely sure what this is. Oh, I would know this fragrance anywhere, and it brings me back every time. Barry, you found a truffle. A what? A truffles are rare and, and, well, it's a delicacy. You should really try it. It's truly an experience of a lifetime. All right. Not just you. We must all try it. Now, we'll divide it between the... Nine! The nine of us! <clears throat> Carry on. It turns out it's too small to share. With a bite so tiny, we wouldn't taste it. So then now what? Does anybody else have any ideas? Why not have one person be the taste tester? That person would sample the truffle and take a lot of notes. Then she would report back to the rest of you. <laughs> so how do we choose who will do it? That's the easy part. We'll just have a lottery. Please, just choose one quickly. The suspense is killing me. Uh, I can't see. Uh, oh. And oh, the You. How could he possibly appreciate the nuances of, of this truffle, and then be able to describe it? It's not right. We need somebody with distinguishing taste buds. Ah. Mm. I nominate mm. me. What? You're not qualified. I think that the best choice is Chico. Mm. All right, then. We'll have to vote on it. Vote for my pal Chico! He should eat the truffle! He'll tell you what it tastes like! Every little detail! He's a better choice than Rosa! Are you having a hard time choosing between Chico and me for truffle taster? Well, you're in luck! I'll show you right now that there's no question who should win the vote. Yeah. So this is me here, and this is Chico. Another one of me here, and another one of him. Here I am, and there he is. Me again, him again. Me, him. So do you want to vote for good or evil? Don't you want to vote for someone who can be trusted with that valuable trouble and not some, some hoodlum? Bravo, Rosa. Huh? Well, I don't know. This is... You can search from high to low, but you know it's the way to go. He's the best there is, you bet. <laughs> so when you... <gasps> what is this? <laughs> so it's like that. <laughs> so it's like that. You want to play that game, huh? Done, done, <gasps> and what are done. you doing? Stop! Oh, stop. stop. Let me... Go 
Okay, that's it. It's time to vote. Here we go. All in favor of Rosa eating the truffle. Uh, mm -hmm. Four for her. And how many votes for Chico? One, two, three, and four. <laughs> Five. And the winner is Chico. You're in for a treat, my good friend. <laughs> no! The voting was unfair. I'm pretty sure it was fixed. <laughs> Well, then, what do you think we should do instead? Just watch. Wait, stop! Uh, oh. uh. So, uh. how is it? <laughs> oh, disgusting! Oh. Oh, how awful! <sighs> <sighs> just one minute. It's actually not a truffle. It seems to be a lump of compost from Barry's garden. Would someone care to take a taste? Most likely it's 100% organic and won't make you sick. It might even taste like a truffle. Doesn't anyone want to challenge their taste buds? Thousands of microbes went to a lot of trouble to make this. Anyone? Rosa got up early in the morning. She did all the household chores, <sighs> managed to read a book, mm -hmm. water the flowers, mm -hmm. and even write a meaningful haiku. <laughs> Achoo! But once all the chores were done, Rosa began to feel sad. <sighs> what should I do now? Crash! What are you doing? <laughs> well, duh, I'm working. Well, could you use some help or something? Oh, oh, oh no, he's gone. Then Rosa <laughs> watered the flowers for the second time and <gasps> did the floors. Oh. Then she thought a bit and wrote another, though less meaningful, haiku. Why am I so unhappy? Crash! So tell me about your work. Well, I'm a builder, a really good one, specializing in the construction of quality carrot barns, a noble profession. Profession? Yeah. Oh, that's what I should have, a profession. I'm tired of not doing stuff. What should my profession be? You need to decide that for yourself. So good luck with that. I'm busy. The talk with Crash confused Rosa quite a bit. Now she knew for sure that she needed a profession. Oh. She decided to head to Chico's place. Hard turn to starboard. Full speed ahead. Look alive. <laughs> All hands on deck. Let me double check our coordinates. Excellent. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Chico? Leave me alone. I'm thinking. What are you thinking about? About how good it is to be a sailor. Oh, yeah! It's awesome! The life of a sailor! Sailing the ocean blue! Playing with dolphins! Feeding the seagulls! <laughs> then the sailor will return to his home and ask a poet to describe everything he's seen, done, and felt in a steel-colored volume. Wonderful! So, um, how would one go about becoming that poet? Well, we already have a poet. It's Wally. At this point, the only open jobs are sailor and firefighter. And maybe pilot. I think I'll go over to Wally's place. I never knew he had such a wonderful deep life. A crawfish and a beetle met one day. A crawfish and a beetle met one day and said, who's stronger anyway? Then they compared their throbbing pincers. Huh? What? Throbbing pincers? Bad, wrong, doesn't even rhyme at all. They could compare their tails. No, that's lame. Hmm. Hmm. What is up, Rosa? Hmm? I'm just 
observing a real poet. Hmm, fine, but don't disturb me. I will not bother you. I'm just here to witness a master being brilliant. Well, can you try and witness it, please, with a less creepy expression? Fine. From the beginning, a crawfish and a beetle met one day and said, Hey, which one of us is stronger anyway? Whose claws will have the final say? Nonsense. Gobbledygook! That just wouldn't work at all. Know what, then? Write the thing yourself. I'd love that. Everyone thinks they're a poet. Well, if it's so easy, write the blankety-blank thing yourself. But when the rhymes won't come and that blank page just mocks you, then I promise you, Rosa, that you will know despair. Sounds like fun. <clears throat> a crawfish and a beetle met one day and said which one of us is stronger anyway. Whose claws will have the final say? Just put them up. Let's dance. Olay! Yes! I just might be a genius. I'm like the beautiful girl bard Shakespeare. <laughs> With you. my first. I just can't wait to write my next one. Wally, what's the word for when you feel like you can do anything perfectly? Like anything that you want in the whole world? It's called inspiration. Or so I've read. A crawfish and a beetle met one day and said, what are we even doing in this poem? This sheep can't write worth a multi fig Honestly, it's true. My Vic's called friends. I don't have a minute to spare. I, I need to record the test data, then check it against the charts, perform calculations. My time is valuable. But it's an intellectual game. It's perfect for a brainiac like you. <laughs> I don't have time for games. I need to work. Ah, Daco! It's so nice of you to come. The game is much more interesting with four players. Uh, what game are we playing? Scrabble! Every player takes seven tiles. The tiles have letters on them. You then form words out of these letters and place them on this board. Why do the tiles also have numbers on them? <laughs> Each number shows how many points a letter is worth. When you make a word, you add up all the points on the tiles. <laughs> Whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. I see, but why are some of the squares different colors on the board? According to the rules, the points on these squares are double, and on these, they're triple. Very well then, but I'll play just one game and then I really have to leave. So who goes first then? Whoever can make the longest word. All right then. Ethanol. Cool. Hmm, okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Now. Well, what's there to think about? You have two wonderful words there, opus and ache. Well, of course I saw those, but I was trying to come up with more points, naturally. No, I already worked it out. The 22 points is the maximum total you can achieve with this particular combination. <sighs> 22 points. That's better than me. I only have the word ear. You may need it if you want to hear something, but it's only worth five points. Well, don't put ear down. Here, you can make real. And over here, you can put fun. It's on a blue space, so it's double and worth 45 points. <laughs> well, ain't that a stinger? <laughs> but... What's a fawn? There is indeed such a word. It's some sort of rare animal. 
I will not need anyone's help. <clears throat> Too bad I can't uh -huh. spell agriculture, or I'd yeah. use that as a word. Uh. I'm forfeiting my turn and exchanging my letters. Aura and acute. What's an aura? Ah! Yes, what is it? You mean you don't know it? It's the plural of os, meaning a mouth or orifice of the body. I could have used my own slang words, too. It's not a word I made up. It's an anatomical term. Anyone who studies the body would know it. Yes, you're so smart. You don't have to rub our beaks in it. <laughs> I wonder what word I could make with these tiles. Make your own <laughs> words! What's the matter? It's hardly unladylike. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Moan and Biddy. Mm, stop making up new words! What's Biddy? Well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Biddy is a, well, it's a young bird. All right. Olga and I are birds. She should be an expert on all birdly matters. So tell us, do you know what a Biddy is? <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, no. Barry, what about you? Uh, not in the slightest. It's a colloquial type of word. It's not used everywhere. That's enough! <laughs> I also can say that, uh, uh, heretzis is colloquial. You don't believe me? We want you to stop making up words. What's with you? We're all playing so well. Who is playing? Were you? He was playing alone. We were just merely spectators. Here. Read this. Biddy, chiefly used in New England and the South, referring to a newly hatched chick. It's a chicken. Okay, old chap. So we're not as educated as you are. But since you're so smart, why'd you get so worked up? You could have just ignored the whole thing, especially with that brain of yours. <sighs> Wasted an entire day looking for this dictionary. I ran out of time to do the things I needed to do. I'm just as dumb as you are. I'm an erudite moose and nothing else. So, you nervous about well, the race? No way. Why should I be nervous? <laughs> Makes sense. No reason to worry if you haven't got a chance. On your marks? Get set? <laughs> Thought I'd give him a head start. It's the nice thing to do, after all. Gotta even the playing field for these poor chumps. <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> Looking good, Wally. Not a bad gate for someone with four left hooves. Nice weather we're having, huh? Well, I should be off. Later, Wall. <laughs> Good determination. You'll look good with that silver medal soon. See you at the finish line. Huh? Oh, come on! <laughs> Easy! Oh, hail your champion! The unbeatable! Um, unbeatable? Yes. 
Holy carrots! How is it possible? It can't be true. Hedgehogs can't outrun rabbits. Wait a sec. Uh, nope, still awake. Hm. On your marks? So, you nervous about the race? No. Why would I be nervous? <laughs> no, Chico's been cheating. Hey, my fast friend. Want to try a round of ping pong? You're not bad at this. Almost like you're a completely new hedgehog. Why, thank you. Surely you have some kind of secret. I sure do. Which is? A special diet. I knew it! What do you eat? I eat the competition, smoked rabbit. Get it? Ha, good one. Hey, I'm just joking. Everyone loses sometimes. No, it's not the losing I mind. I like playing fairly, without any cheating mechanisms. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, I know you wanted to beat me bad. I'm pretty impressive. So badly you wanted to turn to nefarious methods. I get it. But that kind of trick? That's some pretty shady stuff. It's not right to keep secrets like that from friends. I didn't realize. Do you want some? What? For me? Are you crazy? No way, no! I am a champion! Hmm. Fine, don't admit that you have a problem, but know this! You can't fool everyone else. Hmm. Nothing like a smear campaign to let everyone know who the real winner is. <laughs> I'll show everyone he's a fraud. This is for your own good, Chico. Those who win races should be the fastest and fastest alone, not the best at cheating. Dangerous energy drinks should be banned, especially in good, honest races. And if anyone here has a problem, we won't shame him. Well, maybe just a little bit. I mean, we'll strip him of his winning title and give it to me, but no shaming. Just admit it. Yeah, he's right, I think. The culprit, please confess. Mm hmm? Holy carrots, you really don't know who I'm talking about? Him! It's Chico cheating! Look at him! He's drinking it as we speak! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... This is a carton of milk. What is he? Mm-hmm. He's right. It's 1% milk. So what's the other 99%? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, Chico. I just wanted to win so bad. <sighs> Chico, I never should have accused you like that. Even though I still don't understand what's in the other 99% of milk, do you forgive me? Please say you do. Don't worry, friend. It's all fine. And it's kind of like a trick. Uh, how's that? One could say you were almost right. No, no, well, no. Well, no. milk is so full of nutrients, it can help you win. It's full of protein, which helps build muscle mass, and helps make your body stronger and stuff. And, uh, 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 well... Uh, it has vitamins and minerals, and it's healthy, so it's kind of like a magic potion. You think so? Ooh. I finally got you to admit it, you sneaky cheater. You used the protein in milk to get super-powered. I'm on to you, buddy. 